Hello friends and welcome to the new video of Orders Recorded which I am making on an important subject which was discussed in, in the budget 2021 uh, that is the interest on PF. So many of our, my, my friends uh, they are asking uh, whether uh, this particular thing uh, will be applicable to GPF or not. So this was a question asked by my friends. I want to share uh, you can say it a uh, bad news, but this is what CBDT chairman said that PF tax ceiling will be applicable to GPF as well. So before we go into how to save the tax, we must know how the interest on GPF calculated. So let me show you how it is calculated with the calculation sheet, and then uh, we'll be discussing how to save tax. So this is that calculation sheet. I am presuming that at the start of uh, the year, the financial year, you have in your account around 25 lakh rupees. This I am presuming. So this particular amount will be in your GPF account for 12 months because it is available at the start of the financial year. Now, if you contribute 20,000 rupees in the month of April, so this will this amount will be available in your GPF account for 12 months again. So I have multiplied this particular amount by 12. So it turned out to be 2 lakh 40 thousand rupees. This particular amount is also available for 12 months. Now the next month, when again you'll contribute 20 thousand rupees, this amount will be available in your account for 11 months. So the effective amount would be 2 lakh 20 thousand. Same. When you contribute to this 20,000 for the month of March, this amount will be available for only one month. So the net effect would be 20,000. So the total amount, the total principal amount, if I add all these things, will turn out to be this one. The rate of interest for GPF here is 7.1. The formula I would be using the principal, which will be this into rate, which will be 7.1. The time is 1 by 12. Why 1 by 12? Because I am presuming this principle for one month. Why one month? Because I have taken the effect for this particular amount for 12 months. So I have changed this year to the month and multiplied by 100. This formula I am using and the same formula is used by your office. So if you calculate all these things, what you'll get, you'll get the interest for this particular year, including your contribution on your previous amount, will be 186,000 rupees. The effect of this particular year would be 60,000, and interest on this would be around 9,000. 230. And of course, the total contribution is less than 250,000, so no effect of this particular rule. But now I want to share one more thing. So if you're contributing around 25,000 rupees, it means for the whole year, you'll be contributing more than 250,000. So in that case, the interest you will generate for this particular year would be this much 11,537 and if I divide 2,50,000 by 12 the monthly contribution comes out to be 20,833 so you contribute more than this you have to pay tax but if I calculate the interest on this particular amount the interest turn out to be 9,614. It means your yeah, this interest would be tax free. No tax will be calculated on this. So just subtract these two, you will get this. It means you have to pay tax on this particular amount. So this is the whole calculation how the interest tax will be calculated. It is with the same principle, the interest on your saving bank account. 
So now question arises, how to save taxes? So now uh, you have already seen uh, how the interest is calculated and what is the maximum ceiling, how much tax you have to pay uh, on excess amount uh, which will contribute to your GPF account. The question is how to save tax. So for that, I would suggest that you should start investing in NPS. Even if you are covered with GPF, you can invest in NPS as a citizen. In which tier you have to contribute? You have to contribute in tier one. How much you can contribute? You can contribute around 50,000 rupees. And how you will get benefit? You will get additional benefit under ATCCD 1B. It is in addition to your amount of 1,50,000 which you contribute under ATC. So if you contribute in NPS, you will get additional benefit of rupees 50,000. You have to invest rupees 50,000. So this is how you can save your tax. So this is all about this particular video. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.